guys, I'm Kara and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you 10 really easy mum hacks to make arts and crafts with your toddler a little bit easier and a little bit less messy. So let's get started. My first hack is to line tables with cling film to make cleanup super quick and easy. Obviously this isn't the most environmentally friendly thing to do, so I only do this when we are doing something incredibly messy and usually use a wipeable table cover to protect the table. When it comes to painting, I like to keep our paints in jars. It means that we can really easily seal them afterwards, we don't waste any paint and we have less to clean up at the end of an activity. We have some jars that we've bought from Ikea, some jars that we've saved from foods and they are so easy to refill. I like to use masking tape to stick down the paper to the table before we start painting or drawing. This just means that the paper doesn't slide all over the place and bends a little bit too small just now to hold with one hand and draw with the other. This isn't really a hack but we recently just bought Ben this little painting apron and it has made a huge difference to how much there is to clean up at the end of the activity. You could also just use a big shirt or something that else that covers their clothes. To mix painting activities up a little bit and do something different, I also really like to make my own paint brushes using clothes pegs and things that we find around the house. I've also shown in a previous video how to make nature paint brushes, they make beautiful pictures, so I'll make sure I link that for you too in case you want to check it out. When it comes to drying paintings, I like to use our clothes dryer. I just attach them using some pegs and it means that they're not left around in tables for Ben to touch and transport more paint all over the house. I know lots of people like to use muffin trays for putting out paints for toddlers. I prefer to use them for craft supplies or for example if we are doing a play-doh activity and I've got lots of things out for Ben to put into the play-doh. It just lets him see at a glance everything that he has and lets him explore. If in general painting with a toddler is something that gives you nightmares because it is just so messy, I've recently found an alternative. Watercolours are just brilliant, they make so much less mess, they make beautiful pictures and actually I've been using them to create birthday cards and things like that for family members. When it comes to drawing and stickers, Ben has a few of these sketchbooks. It just keeps all of his art in one place, we don't have sheets of paper flying around everywhere and keeping a few of these is a really nice memory. Another hack is to take pieces of artwork that your toddler does and cut them into the right size and put them in frames. We have these up on our walls and they're also really great gifts for other people. We have lots of these reusable style sticker books, Ben totally loves sticker books, but we find that actually sticking the stickers back onto the original sheets doesn't really work. Instead, we now put the original sheet inside a poly pocket so that we know what pages the stickers are for, and then stick the stickers back on to the outside of a poly pocket. This makes the stickers last a really long time, we know where they are, and they're really easy for Ben to peel off by himself too. Now please let me know in the comments down below if you have any other hacks that you do and work really well, I would love to hear them. Thank you so much for watching today, please hit subscribe if you'd like to see more of this type of content and I hope you'll join me again in another video. Bye bye!